As you can see from the schedule above, there are three exams in this course. The first question you should ask yourself is, what is the point of these exams? This is a question you may not have thought about before, but if you think about it, it's a question you should ask yourself in every class. What are you going to be asked to do? What is the purpose of going through this activity called an exam? Here are my goals for the exams. One, I want to check your graphs of the basic fundamental relationships of physics. Two, I want to see what you don't know as well so I can try to con correct the gaps later on. Physics is a very cumulative subject and our goal is to get a very holistic picture of light and an electron. And so I need to know what gaps y'all have so I can fill them in. And then three, I want to see if you can apply these ideas that we've learned in class and practiced in class to new situations. None of you are physics majors. I want to see you be able to apply these ideas to new situations beyond the physics classroom. I think that that's important. Note the emphasis on what we do in class. Remember the structure of this course. Reading gets you ready for homework. We check your understanding of the homework via quizzes, which ensure that you're ready for the in-class activities which in prepare you for the exams. In order to achieve these three goals, the exams have two main attributes. First, the exams will be problems you haven't seen before. As already described, I want to see if you can apply the ideas to new situations, not just memorize solutions to problems that you've already seen. And we'll give more details on the exams as we get closer and practice exams will be posted so that you can sort of see the structure. The exams will be hosted on Moodle and will be designed as open book. Consulting any materials from class, slides, the textbook, anything like that is perfectly acceptable. But consulting other people via online resources like Chegg or even chatting with your peers is off limits. And I respect you guys and understand that the vast majority of you will play by these rules. In fairness to this vast majority of you who will play by these rules, academic honesty on exams will be dealt with quite severely. Being caught cheating on an exam will result in failing the course. No extenuating circumstances will be considered. Moreover, I have methods for both mitigating and discovering the use of such really illicit resources. My PhD is in data science, I'm pretty good at finding this type of stuff than, better than you probably think. And I just want to be upfront about this. Again, I'm moted by fairness to the majority of you who I know will play by the rules. I will treat you with respect and assume that you'll follow these conditions. Please provide me the same courtesy. In the next video, we'll go into a little bit more detail of the exact structure of an exam.